Hi, I'm Ben from The Things Industries. Today, I'm going to show you how to use payload formatters. And I'm going to demonstrate that using a Cayenne LPP payload formatter and a Things node. So, to use a payload formatter, you need a user account on the Things stack or the Things enterprise stack. And you need a gateway and you need a device to send uplinks that you can apply a payload formatter to. So let's get started. Go ahead and log into the console that I've done next here and head to the Applications tab. And in the Applications tab, choose the application you want and then choose the device that you want. So go to the End Devices tab here and I'm going to use our Things node. And it's possible to apply a payload formatter to an entire application and then you can set the devices to use that default application payload formatter, um, which could be really useful if you have a lot of devices that are the same. But in this case, we're just going to apply a single payload formatter. And we do that in the device overview here by clicking the payload formatters tab. If you wanted to set an application payload formatter, you would do that in the application tab here under payload formatters. Click on the payload formatters tab here in the things node device. And then we want to go and we want to click the type of payload formatter that we want. And in this case, I'm using a Cayenne LPP payload formatter. Um, and in order to use that, your device has to send uplinks that are compatible with that uh, data type. So um, I loaded a, a sketch on the Things node that um, encodes payloads for Cayenne LPP. And then that's basically all there is to it. I just have to enable this payload formatter, hit Save Changes. And then if I go over to the Data tab, I can see in the uplinks, when I expand them, a uplink message and a decoded payload, which is the human readable data that the uplink has been converted into. So we can see we've got uh, almost minus 1G on our accelerometer here, um, and then we've got analog and digital in values and a light sensor and a temperature sensor value here. And that looks like about room temperature, that looks like minus 1G, and both of those make sense, so it looks like this is working. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.